Welcome back to the show. Hey, how are you? How are you? Thanks. Great. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. It's coming, right? It is. It's here. <laughs> it is here, and it's it's next Tuesday, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. I mean, what, what a great time, I think, for me. As I've gotten a little older, Mardi Gras is just a reason to gather around the table, right? It's a, it's a reason for us being in Houston now. Uh, we have friends and family send us king cakes. Uh, my little boy didn't understand really what it was, right. you know, and so and, and he was born in Louisiana, but but now seeing. So we try to keep some of these traditions alive. And for me, the biggest tradition is just a gathering to have people over, to have people in our restaurant, uh, and have a few light bites. Right. So I grew up in Eunice. It was a little different Mardi Gras than in New Orleans, but I've been fortunate to see both. This recipe today. I think we'll take you in both places. Okay, that's awesome. I think you're going to sit in the hot seat, right? I get the best seat in the house, and it's not just the uh, the main dish, but you're also going to whip up this fancy little milk punch king cake inspired. Well, I, I think you need a cocktail, right? No matter what, I think you Always. need them to go. You got it in a fancy glass, but we're going to do it traditional. We have these little go cups, what I call them, and so wow. we'll work on that. First, I'll okay. get you to roll up so the duck poppers. We have a little duck breast. I love to use. I'm a hunter, right? Uh, right. I used. To, I like to use to some of the things that. From the from the leftover, so Mardi Gras is really the really a religious holiday. It's the right. last before Lent or kind of before the the fast. So we'll get our meat in and then we'll kind of eat a lot of seafood going into it. So a little cream cheese, okay. a little duck popper. Every and I call them Cajun duck poppers. Every little Cajun meat market from Beaumont to New Orleans has some of these little whether they're stuffed in jalapeno. Everybody does them different. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but you can't eat just one. I promise you, they no. are delicious. Okay, so I just rolled it up in bacon, right? And what That's was it. this? This is a jalapeno. A little jalapeno. I like to pickle them, but fresh Ooh, works just nice. as good. Okay. Uh, a little bacon. I par cook the bacon in the duck, but you can do it. Um, however you like. And okay. I just like to cook them in a pan just like this. So skewer them like that so you're turning them over at the same time. That's I think that's probably the easiest, right? Makes it easier on everybody. You can do these on the grill. You can do these in the oven. Okay. You can do them in the broiler. Nice. Really, there's no... i tell you what, then I'll just like to take them like this on a little serving platter. I've got friends coming over. We're we're having a few drinks. I just like to plate them just like oh, this. So beautiful. They smell so good. How easy so is good. this? We're going to go in with yours. Okay. Make sure Derek knows you're doing a little <laughs> that I'm work actually working. He got the, he's well, got he's the over there. Seat. Yeah, he's over there sipping. Well, so, and the red beans and rice, by the way, absolutely delicious. I could eat these all day. So for the drink, a yeah. little bit of ice, right? I love your Go Cubs. That's it. I mean, they're, they're my Mardi favorite Mardi Gras, thing. you got to walk. So we have a little uh, version of milk punch, but we try to make it kind of like a king cake instead of buying a king cake or having a king cake. Yeah, drink maybe your you calories, in, people. Maybe you have it in liquid form. <laughs> so this is a little cream, a little um, cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, everything that you would kind of find in a king cake, a little almond liqueur. Oh, nice. So it's, it's play on a milk punch. Okay. And then we'll just top it. Uh, we have our mix. I love to set up a bar at my house, have our mix. And then you can kind of pour your own booze. If you don't want to add booze, you don't have this will work great just as well, right. right? And so I think for so many people do want to drink, don't want to drink, either way it's your call. Okay. I like to top it with just a touch of uh, rum. Okay. Brandy would work well just as well if you want to give it a good stir. Give it a stir there. Courtney, and I, see I can't wait for you to try this. You like it? Well, what's amazing, Chef, is that you have totally captured the flavor of a king cake into a drink. In a cocktail. And look, the, how about this? We'll I put love, a little, this is so awesome. Right? And even with the kids, even with the kids without the alcohol, it works just fine. Totally. Right, sprinkles, maybe you have some king cake babies if you'd like, whatever you'd like. Don't drink the baby. Don't drink the baby, how about that? <laughs> Finish that one up. Okay. And then for me, you know, we always have a little, it's on the parade route or you're having a celebration. Yeah. You want dishes, red beans and rice, maybe some fried chicken that kind of work well that you can have out that people can help themselves to, right? Yeah, yeah, you want to be able to move around, mingle, and you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen. That's exactly right. You know what, if you got to get the fried chicken from, uh, from your favorite fried chicken, Purveyor on the pick it up and hold it in a box. You can do that too. Right. Uh, there's no judgment on Mardi Gras. No. And there's no judgment about um, what people do. I think for me, and you guys have heard it, let me say it multiple times, there's no judgment of what people do for a little fork. You can get in and get a fresh Okay, I'm get right one there. of those. Um, there's no judgment on how you how you create food and to throw a party. For me, it's the gathering and having people over. That's right. the most important part. And that's what Mardi Gras is. It's a celebration of people. Um, and to, to have a good time and to uh, mm. to get ready for the fast the next couple of weeks. It's so Absolutely. Cool. I love your restaurant because it's not just the the food that is so delicious. It's the story behind the menu. I, I'm taking a friend out for her birthday, and I said, where do you want to go? 
Eunice yeah. is the place that's at the top of her list. So well, we appreciate it. Much. Cheers, you double up. There Cheers. we go. Cheers, guys. Thank happy you. Mardi Gras. And to you all, happy Mardi Gras. And we hope to see you at Eunice. We'll do an all-day happy hour mm. Mardi Gras day. Come see us, guys. Mm. Cheers. Sounds good to me. In the meantime, Drake. if you'd like this to get the good. recipe or to connect with Chef Drake, you can mm. visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Oh, this is good. I hope I can <laughs> continue. Mm -hmm. After the